Sick Pain, written by Julia. Twilight brought her friends together once again to get them harmonized so they can use the elements of harmony to defeat Discord once and for all. The rainbows and lights surrounded them, and they prepared themselves to watch as the God of Chaos was delivered a humiliating defeat by mere ponies. I can finally have hope that anything I do, I can do with my friends. We are all together as one here, and surely some pony like Discord would never understand. Twilight said to her friends, and they all smiled as the light grew brighter and brighter. Discord covered his eyes, already accepting that these elements, these same elements that cast him into a dark, cold, and trapping prison of stone, would once again show him his fruits of unholiness and chaos. He dropped his glass and looked down to the ground, as the light was too bright, and the strain of bearing to witness the harmony once again was tearing his dark heart apart. The main six dropped down with a thud, and the elements of harmony turned into stone after slipping off their wearers. Twilight and her friends all gasped, a gasp of disbelief, and were forced to see Discord stand up and clap his hands slowly while laughing out loud like a lunatic. He pointed at them and shouted, How's that for a defeat, girls? You think I destroyed your friendship? No, I destroyed your connection to your respective elements. I gave up for a moment actually, because it seemed that you were forcing the power out of the elements, and I thought I was a goner. But, no, but I, I thought... Twilight choked as she began to cry. She tried to stand up, but Discord forced her back down with his right foot and picked her up while laughing in her face. I thought the elements would work. Were we not the current welders? Discord silenced himself before whispering to Twilight's ear. You thought wrong, my little pony. Now. I will ask, do you want your chaos served hot or cold? He brought the sun closer, making it hotter, then sending it farther into space, making it colder. He kept doing this over and over again. I'll never answer such a question to you! I will defeat you, Discord! Twilight shouted, trying to bite Discord as he continued to laugh in her face. Rainbow Dash stood up and rushed towards the Dragon Quest, ready to attack him. However, he manipulated her body to crash into a floating platform that had strayed to the vicinity of his throne. She fell from it, now with bruises and a bleeding head. Put her down! Now! She cried as tears ran down her face, and she tried attacking again. Fluttershy could not see through the tears in her eyes, and her voice could not escape her weary lips. She tried to keep her mouth shut, but she could not bear to see Rainbow get hurt again. Rainbow! Stop! She screamed as Discord threw Twilight to Rainbow and used the unicorn's horn to stab Rainbow in her left hoof. The ponies both fell, and Fluttershy screamed once again, nearly popping every pony's eardrums. Discord turned to her, in which she responded by slowly backing away while still on the ground. Her body shook violently, and her first instinct was to fly away. But her wings trembled more than her body did. P please don't hurt me. Discord stomped on the ground, causing a slight quake, and this made the Pegasus lose her balance and fall to her face once again. She hit her face with her hooves, but Discord used his chaos magic to lift her up and bind her limbs behind her in a painful fashion, forcing out even more screams. He used it then to choke her, so her screams would not be able to escape so easily and the rest of the six were left to hear Fluttershy's pain grunts and gargles of intense pain. You make such beautiful music with your voice, my little pony, he told her, looking directly into her shaky eyes, which began to go bloodshot. Her neck made a cracking noise, but it was not a snap. She still lived. It would be such a waste if it all had to go away, right? No, don't, Pinkie Pie shouted. She tried to stand up, but found her legs to be shaky. Her colors dimmed, and her mane straightened. She looked at Discord wrangling Fluttershy's neck, and felt a great darkness overwhelming her from him. You... can't. Every pony, please, can this just be a dream? Are my friends going to die? Can I possibly laugh at a time like this? Will you miss your friends, Pinky? Discord asked the pink pony, as she threw Fluttershy into Applejack, who caught her and held her closely. Fluttershy put one hoof into Applejack's face, to be sure it was her. She coughed up blood and began to go unconscious. She looked up at Applejack and held back a scream. 
Pinky began to step back and turned to run as she screamed in fear. Discord caught her by the tail and used magic to bend the earth to make restraints for her. She looked back as she lightly pulled her tail, her eyes showing her fear what was to come. She was shaking her head quickly and then banged her head into the ground once. No, no, please stop, don't do this. Stop it, leave me and my friends alone, she pleaded as Discord cackled and began to pull her tail anyway. Pinky held back her initial screams and bit down on her bottom lip so hard it began to bleed. She released just a high-pitched squeal, then a grunt of intense agony as Discord gave another tug. Stop! I... I can't take this! Discord pulled again and managed to make Pinky scream. The screams that dragged on echoing throughout the distance forcing her friends to cover their ears and cry out for Discord to stop as well. Pinky tried to crawl out of her restraints as her hooves were free and it was her back that was bound to the ground, but found as rings of earth wrung through her hooves and made thorns dig deep into her skin, keeping her there the more she struggled, the more pain she would endure. Isn't this fun? Discord cackled again. Another pool, finding that Pinky screamed each time he did. She. So he pulled at a more frequent rate, making her eject more frequent squeals and screams. Hugh's a pony who laughs in the face of danger. Right? But I guess when pain is included, you're more prone to give up than any of your friends. I bet even Fluttershy could endure more than you. Pinky stopped moving and was now crying so hard that she could not stop trying to hold back. Now coughing as well, she tried to stop it, but began choking on her saliva as she was breathing faster and she could salivate. Her urination all over Discord's leg, relieving herself from all the ails which plagued her for that just one moment before Discord pulled again, screaming even louder. Pinky felt more pain shooting through her body as the hair from her tail was pulled her tail skin off. Every pony heard the quick rip and Rarity began to gag until finally throwing up. She began to whine and prompted Discord to get a sick idea. The god of chaos levitated Rarity over to Pinky and forced the unicorn to open her mouth as a wide as she could. He burned Pinky's tail to her throat and shrove, shoved its entirety down Rarity's esophagus into her stomach. Pinky felt as Rarity's vomit flew down onto her backside and lower body, but Rarity could not get all of it out. She ended up choking and gagging violently on her own body waist. Discord laughed, falling and pounding on the ground, tearing up Tearing up at the eyes, he still continued to watch to Rarity, as Rarity was too confused and broken as to what to do. Pinky's broken skin was being burned by the chemicals content of Rarity's stomach, so she only continued to scream and cry. Rarity wiggled side to side, trying desperately to get Pinky's tail out of her body and sought that the only way was to rip her tail off herself. She didn't not want to hear Pinky again, as she could not bear to hear it again, not even once, but it was either that or die of choking on the, her own vomit. Her attitude of a canterlot unicorn could not lower its pride enough to, s to subjugate to, to a death so humiliating and macabre. 
She opened wide as she possibly could and Discord knew what was coming, but it still caught him by wide surprise. Pinky screamed Rarity's name at the top of her lungs, but it began coughing again at the vocal cords that shredded themselves apart. Rarity bit down and shook her head like a shark tearing at its prey, and Pinky let out a wail of pure sorrow. Rarity cried uncontrollably as her mascara now bled black tears down her face. Her heart was beginning to rip, to shred from hearing her friends go through that this much pain. She felt Pinky trying to crawl away again and knew her legs were also being cut apart. She began to weaken, but felt her consciousness begin to lose itself, and she really did not want to die like this. She gave one last bite and ripped ta Pinky's tail clean off and falling down onto the ground to receive a full f a face full of Pinky's urine as she used her magic to slowly pull Pinky's long tail from her stomach. She attempted to prove successful now as she gagged once again but found herself too weak to vomit again and she weakly apologized to Pinky over and over. The pink pony still cried but quietly now and her restraints returned back into the earth. Rarity tried to crawl to her but Pinky shouted at her to stop, to leave her alone for every pony, to leave her alone. I give up. I quit. I don't care what happens to anyone. I don't want any pony near to come near me again. Discord stood back up and looked on at the broken ponies, which he had to effortlessly defeated. He walked back to his throne and sat down to drink a glass of chocolate milk. He brought down a black thundercloud and made it give freezing rain to them as he set the sun down and rose the moon. The light of the moon illuminated the blood which had been sprayed from Pinky to be all over Rarity's face. And in her mouth, she spit everything she could out and accidentally swallowed some of it. It was the mixture mixed with urine and it tasted horrid and terrible. Twilight used her magic to bring all of her friends together in a hug, reconciliation, as Discord watched them in silence. Twilight apologized for bringing them here, for getting them into this, and for even coming to Ponyville. I shouldn't have even came here. Princess Celestia was wrong about me. There's nothing I can do to stop this. I failed. Discord still watched, waiting for the main six to do something to oppose him, or anything remotely interesting. They did not, however, and only remained in the t their tight hug. They had gone quiet and were shivering from the cold rain of the clouds above them. He grew bored, and with this, and set a rain of fire upon them making walls of earth trap them as they scurried in their prison of flames trying to escape he blissfully listened to all of their screams until they stopped twilight was the last one to stop screaming and her last words were a loud shout why after that discord heard a ding sound in his head and opened the stove to the charred bodies of his enemies. He knew the magic still flowed through their dead bodies and would make this dinner 20% more enjoyable.
The end. Hello, Ray Pony. Snogget's here. Oh my, aren't I the stranger here? I certainly hope you enjoyed this reading. I want to give a special thanks to Wolf Titan for giving me the opportunity to collaborate on this narration. It's been a pleasure. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to Wolf Titan for more Darfic readings like this one every week. By the way, if you like the way I narrate things, or if you like my majestic voice, you can go check out my channel over here. I upload MLP fanfic readings on a variety of genres every Saturday, and even have some reviews here and there. If you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Alright, that's it for me. This is Snogrits, uh, I mean Stranger, signing out.